you can see the players have already made their way from the dugouts onto the field. It's a very highly anticipated final between arguably two of the best teams in knockout football this year. So we have William of Wales, like I mentioned before, versus Wharton. And it's a crowd here at the Wilded Turf. Not so big as yet. Uh, we have had some showers and it's a wet and wilted turf for this final. But nevertheless, the players are on the pitch. Bit of a delayed start due to the third place match between your double A bat birds and Britain's Hill. But the finals now is on the way at the Wilded Turf. We see the captains, Hayden Holligan uh, from William of Wales there. The other captain from Watton looks like is it Omani Leacock. Vision a bit blurry at the moment. But it looks like Leacock from my vantage point to get us on the way. The referees tonight is Mr. Kalig. He'll be assisted by Angela Doyle and Jazel Louison. She's there as well. All step locked and loaded ready for this, the highly anticipated final of the Republic Cup. So we see the teams there about to do their huddles. Weymouth Wills in their traditional green and white tops with the green bottoms. Watton in their navy blue. As we see both teams going through their huddles. Have the teams for you. This is not the starting eleven. But these are the players listed. Kishmar Primus, Ricardo Morris, Akeem Hill, Akil Appleway, Mario Williams. This is the Vim of Wales team. Andre Appleway, Hayden Holligan, Mario Herewood, Shaquille Stewart, Kimar Headley, Nadre Busher, Terry Graham, Rashid Williams, Kimar Chase, Zico Edme, Shaquille Boyce, Arantis Lawrence, Rashad Smith. Janash Janai, Elijah Downey, and Jaheem Neblet. The officials for Wim of Wales tonight, Carlos Jackman is the head coach. Team manager, Alfonso Lewis. The assistant coach is Sean Clark. Chantal Braffitt is the team medic. And the other team officials, Omari Eastman, Christopher Hoyt, and Julian Mortley. Watton players are as follows. Uh, Sakita Duke, Harden, Akin Brown, with Nico Marshall, Darian King, Omani Leacock, Kelly Gill, Carl Joseph, Jabari Papi Chandler, Tashane Lord, Mark Bushell, Dante McLean, Ricardo Ford, Jamal Chandler, Zico Phillip, Shamar Addison, Dw Dwight Salaj, Rashawn Eiffel, Stephen Lane, Jenico Baptiste, and Aki Lord. The head coach for Watson, Sherlyn Gibbons. And the team manager is Glenn Glibbons. Akeem Wave is also a team official. So we're on our way here in the finals of the Republic Cup. It's William of Wales versus Watton as we see. Wales on the attack. Looks like Nadir Butcher. He's done the left-hand side. Crosses the ball into the box and it's cleared away from the Watton. So first chance there we see the clear intent from William of Wales to get the ball into the speedy and young Butcher. Get him into possession. Down the flank, as we know the trouble that he can cause. This is Hill in possession for Wales. Plays the ball over the left-hand side to Butcher, and he's dispossessed. And it seems like the ball might have gone out of touch. Their last touch from Wales. So it's going to be a, a free kick, it looks like, for Wharton. Free kick with just about... Two minutes on the clock. So Watton in possession. They look to move forward. It looks like Lee Cop. But this is Hill in possession. Goes all the way back to Primus. As Wales look to build from the back. This is Mario Williams. Williams back to Primus. Primus. That's for the pass. He goes to Hill. The ball is played forward into the 
Powerful Butcher. Butcher is in possession into the box. And it goes out into touch. And it's going to be a goal kick for Watton. So as I mentioned before, uh, William of Wales looking to find the ball. Leading searching ball into Butcher. And we, can, we know the damage that he can do if given the time and space in possession. So a bit of a cagey start to this match. As Watton looked to build from the back. As it's a foul by Butcher. He runs away from the scene of the crime. Early days in this match. As we see the referee. Pali. They're in possession. But Watton looked to come forward. This is the ball into King. What can they do from the right hand channel? And it goes out into touch. So it's going to be a throw in. Throw in taken quickly. And they go all the way back to Primus. And this could be tricky. But Wales recover. It's a ball into Applewhite. It's a free kick in favor of Wales. This one down the left hand side. The referee comes to the Scene of the player. Let's say Applewhite still down on the pitch. So you look to see if he will need some sort of treatment. And he's back on his feet. So in case you're now joining us, this is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup final. William of Wales in green taking on Wharton as the ball there from Williams. Can't seem to pick out one of his players. Watton looked to come forward. Ball played forward into the path of Lord. And Watton will have the throw in. This is Lord in possession. He finds King. It's Watton looked to build from the back. They're under pressure from Wills. They're dispossessed. Edme, a bit of a coming together of the players there. And. Referee Khalid is on hand and averts the danger. So Watton will have a free kick. Just about eight minutes on the clock. This is Watton. First sign of a threat. On the right hand side, the ball is played into the middle. And there are no takers on that opportunity, that occasion. Not a bad pass into the box but there were, seemed to be a mix up with the movement of the players as this is Applewhite in possession challenged by Lord dispossessed Lord in the midfield tries to play the ball over the top to Chandler and this is Holligan in possession Holligan drives forward Butcher is calling for it goes past his man and it seems like Butcher might have took a heavy touch. And the ball is out of touch. This is Watton again. Looking to build from the back. So they play the ball forward. Watton. And it's a foul by Hill. And Watton will have the opportunity to get bodies forward. And perhaps swing the free kick into the danger zone. Wales will have bodies back. So it's a free kick. Just on nine minutes. Gone. Still nil-nil in this. The final of the Republic Cup. Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. Here at the Wildy Turf. Free kick is taken. Swung into the box. The no takers. Wales can clear. This is Lord. He's challenged by Smith. Smith with the tackle. And it goes behind to. And it's going to be a goal kick for William of Wales. So, Primus to get us going. The goal kick is taken short. This is Holligan. Plays the ball into the midfield. This is King. The Chandler. And it's a free kick in a dangerous position. 
for Watton. A number of players have crowded the referee. What will he do here? It's a Cali. And it's a free kick. Looks like Chandler was fouled by Hill. And it's a free kick. It seems like in a very dangerous position. From my vantage point. So it's a free kick for Watton just outside of the box. We'll see what they can come up with. First chance to test the goalkeeper, Kishmar Primus. And there are a number of players around this dead ball situation. We'll have to wait and see. They're just about 20 yards out. It's central. So nice position for the right footer to have a go here at Primus. With just about 10 minutes, 10, 11 minutes on the clock. Watton with the first real opportunity to get on the score sheet. So nine minutes on the clock, actually. We're into the ninth minute. So number of players standing around it. Looks like Chandler, Leacott. Those are the two men. So the free kick. It's a bit of a delay here. The whistle is gone and the free kick is taken. Chandler. Chandler with the opportunity there. A bit of a tame shot. And that one was easy for Primus. As he boots it long. Butcher in hot pursuit. And the Watson goalkeeper comes and collects Duke. Lord is begging for it on the far side. See, Watton down the right-hand side. What can they do? This is the ball into the midfield. It's a lovely ball. It's a foot race. But it goes behind. Oh, into touch. And it's going to be a throw-in for Weymouth Wheels. So Watton looking to come forward again. Stopped in their tracks. This is Applewhite looking for Butcher. Butcher goes past his man. This could be dangerous. It's 4v3. Excellent defending there from Watton. As Wills had bodies surging forward. Had to get it right. And they got, and they got it done. Seems to be a, a bit of a stoppage in play here. It's going to be a throw in for Watton. All the way back to the center half. This is Mario Williams. Williams to Smith. And yes, the field is a bit wet due to the rain. Big swing from Smith looking for Edme. This is the ball in the midfield. Bit of a ping pong battle at this stage. Applewhite. And neither team seem to be able to keep the ball and get it under control. But this is Watton in possession looking to come forward. This is nice passing. This is Chandler. Lovely bit of skills. Helped on its way. Can Watton make this opportunity count? The ball is into the box. And it's lovely defending there from Williams. 
And Watson can come forward. This is Holligan. Ball into the midfield again, and Watson can come forward. Says Lord, looking for the one two. Can he get a shot away? Steps forward, appeals for a foul. The referee says no way, the shot comes in. And it's a clearance off the line. Watson still in possession. And Primus finally comes and collects on that occasion. Bit of confusion there, but Wales get the ball clear. Smith in possession, opts to go all the way back to the keeper. Primus. His wheels to come forward again. Up away. Fourteen minutes on the clock. We are still goalless here at the Woody Turf. This is up away. Looking for Butcher. And the ball is headed away. And it's going to be a corner. The first corner of the night for Weymouth Wills. Watton have had an opportunity from a free kick by Jabari Papichalo. Team one into Primus. Catching practice for him. And now Watton, Wills, I beg your pardon, will have a dead ball situation. Corner. Corner from the left flank. The corner is swung in on that one. A bit too much on it. And no takers and the Watton team deciding to let that one go behind as well. Despite the showers that we've seen, the crowd appears to be building. As both the Watton and Weymouth Wales spectators continue to make their way into the worldly turf. Watton to get us on the way again. This is Applewaite. It's dispossessed. It's Watton to come forward. This is lovely play. A bit of passing, crisp passing from them. You see the play that's broken up. They go all the way back to Lord and he can't keep it alive. This is Smith. Long pass. Goes out into touch again. This is Williams. In possession. Plays the diagonal ball over to Butcher. And that's headed behind. And it's going to be a Weymouth Wales corner. Second corner for Weymouth Wales. In the last five minutes. They'll be looking to make amends of it. So it's got another corner for William of Wales. This corner is taken short. Butcher swung in with the left foot. And that one will not trouble the Watson defense. The Watson look to come forward again. It's a lovely play here. Can't find to pick the pass. And it's another throw in. Neither team being able to get a grip on this game so far. Uh, both teams have had a bit of chances. We haven't seen a clear-cut one. As this is Williams in possession. Right on the center circle. Williams plays the ball into Smith. Takes it lovely in the stride. And it's an excellent ball. A bit too much though on the pass. That one overcut from Williams. Great intention though. Um... The ball into Edme, but he was unable to get to it in time. Watson to come forward again. Ball in the midfield. Looks like a lovely ball. And Smith 
intercepts. This is Williams again to Hill. Hill looking for a pass. Goes to Butcher, who's dispossessed. And the free kick goes in favor of Watton. Butcher perhaps thought that he was the beneficiary of the referee's call. But the referee, Gill. Khalid on that occasion awards the ball for Watton. 18 minutes gone in this, the final of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. And we're yet to see a goal in this one. $30,000 up for grabs tonight. That's the cash prize. And the coveted trophy. Who will take it home? As the ball is played forward. For Watton. Bit of a foul there. And the free kick goes in favour of William of Wales. Sherwood plays the leading ball forward. Can he keep it alive? Barely. And it's a corner for William of Wales. Credit to the attacker on that occasion. The determination to keep the ball alive. And he got a corner in the end. And it's the third corner for William of Wales. In quick succession, they're definitely racking up the dead ball situations. It's the corner is about to be taken. Corner swung in at the back post. And it's a chance for Smith. On mark at the back post. An opportunity. Miss. Perhaps a hard one for Smith. He was always leaning back and it was always going to be difficult for him to get something on target. And the score remains 0-0. No, no. Juke is going to get us on our way again. Goal kick is taken to the center of the field. It's up with to Smith. Smith Attempting to go long to Ed May. And that one will go all the way out. For a goal kick again for Watton. It's Watton, come forward. So a bit of a cagey opening so far. In this one, neither team, as I mentioned before, being able to take a grip on the game. That's a clattering tackle. Nevertheless, it's a clean one. This is Williams in possession for Wills. Plays the ball into Ed May. This is lovely. And the chance. And the free kick goes in favour of Watton. It's very slippery out there, ladies and gentlemen. Due to the rain that we've had throughout the day. And we've seen so far over the last 20 to 21 minutes, a number of players have lost their footing. It's Watton come forward again. The free kick is in favor of Wales. It's getting anxious for both teams out there. It hasn't gone really neither team's way so far. But this is Holligan looking for Smith. Finds him. Smith the, with a clever header back into the path of Applewhite. And Williams with the throw in. Back to Primus. Primus heavily marked. And he goes back to Williams. Williams looking to come forward. Looks for a pass. Slides it around. To Holligan. This is Applewhite in possession for Wales. That's for Butcher. This is perhaps the fifth or sixth time that we've seen Wales try to exploit Wharton 
down the left hand side and it hasn't worked so far. They ball into a butcher. It seems to be that is their tactic. You know, get the ball into those pockets of space. As we see the offside flag goes up against Chandler. Swatton looking for this is the ball in the midfield. Looks like King looks for a pass. Has to go back. And it's a foot race. Primus with the clearance. It's a lovely control by Holligan. Twists and turns. Oh, this is lovely. From Wales. Here with into Applewhite. Down the left hand side. Bit of step over is the ball at the back post. And Duke. Seem to have his work cut out as we can now give you the starting lineups for the match. So this is how Watton have lined up. They've gone with Sadika Jute in goal, Kerryon Harden, Akeen Brown, Nico Marshall, Darian King, Omani Leacock, Carl Joseph, Jabari Chandler, Tushin Lord, and Rico Ford, that's the, as well as Janico Baptiste, that's the starting in lineup. For Watton, Weymouth Wales, they've gone with Kishmar Primus, Akeem Hill, Akil Appleway, Mario Williams, Andrea Appleway, Hayden Holligan, Romario Herewood, Nadra Butcher, Zico Edme, Rashad Smith, and Elijah Downey. So those are the starting lineups for both teams. Official confirmation. In case you're not joining us, you haven't missed anything just yet. Nil nil still the score. There's just about 25 minutes on the clock. As we see, Herewood looking to slide the ball forward. It's cut out by the Watton defense as Lord is brought down. Right in front of the referee. Had a perfect vantage point. And awards the free kick for Watton. So Watton's number four. It looks like Harden plays the ball forward. Looking for Lord. The upside of the boot pass. And the danger is snuff out there. And it's a foul in favor of William of Wales, nevertheless. Free kick for what for wheels. It's pretty much gets us going again as wheels up to build from the back. The ball is played forward. What and clearing their lines. This is Williams to Hill. Hill steps forward, looks for a pass, goes to his left. And the ball appears to be going in favor of Watton. So the free kick is taken. This is Chandler can't keep it under control <laughs> and if I decides to foul the center half for, for Weymouth Wills as they look to come forward again this is Rashad Smith in possession back to Holligan Holligan in the midfield to Downey says Butcher turns his man and is dispossessed by Lord. Read the play very well there, Lord. But Wales look to come forward again. That's the ball played over the top to Applewhite. Applewhite versus Brown. 
looking for the corner. Watton can get it clear. Pressure there from Wills. But Watton can get out. This is Chala. That's Watton. They're in trouble. They really need to clear this ball. This is Brown. As Wales look to put the pressure, but Watton have done excellent to bring the ball out of that position. It's a free kick in favor of Watton. And you can definitely hear the crowd getting anxious, buzzing about that foul. Every challenge. So we see the Watton player there stays on the carpet. Haven't seen a card as, as yet. The referee, Kelly, has got things under control. The free kick in favor of Watton. Free kick taken. They look to come forward. Watton down the right hand side. Dispossess. And it's another free kick. This time in favour of Wales. And the crowd are on their feet. Wills. This is Downey in possession, passes the ball to Holligan. Holligan looking for Herewood. It's an excellent tackle. Took that one excellent in the stride. Equally, the tackle there from the defender. Had to get it right. Outstretched leg. And it's an excellent tackle. But Wills still in possession. They come forward. This is Holligan. To Williams. That was a close one. It's Wills looking to put a couple of passes together. The shot comes in. And that one never troubling. They go keep a juke. Bit of a rearward shot there from Herewood. How the design goes wrong when they... Goalkeeper Ju, happy to let that one go. And that goes out into touch, and it's going to be a throwing again for Wheels. Smith takes the throwing early. This is Williams back to Hill. It's Apple it. It's a lovely pass into Butcher, but. Again, it's an overcooked one. Wills seem to be rushing it here. With just about 32, 31 minutes on the clock. We've gone past the half an hour mark here at the Wildy Turf. In case you're not joining us, this is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup Finals for 2023. The Weymouth Wills versus Wharton. And at the moment... It's nil-nil. This the first half. Haven't seen a clear-cut chance just as yet from either of the teams. Had a free kick from Jabari Papi Chandler around the 18th minute. A bit of a tame one. Never troubling the goalkeeper Kishmar Primus. And then Rashad Smith perhaps had one of the best opportunities for Weymouth Wheels. Arriving at the back post from a corner taken from Nadre Butcher. But on that occasion, Smith unable to find his bearings. But here is Watton. The ball in the midfield. 
Can they get the pass forward? No way through the traffic. Appeals for a foul, but the referee is not interested at that moment. It's Primus to Hill. This is Akeem Hill. Plays the ball forward to Appleway. Appleway. And that's the foul there. And the yellow card comes out. For the number seven player. For William of Wales. 17. For William of Wales at Zico Edme. Zico Edme, the first player in the referee's book tonight from Ram of Wales. So both teams here going after a bit of history tonight. Ram of Wales looking to do an unprecedented triple. They've already won the Premier League, they've won the Champions Cup. They're looking for a treble here with the Republic Cup. Walton, on the other hand, looking to win a first BFA knockout championship in their history. So a lot's at stake here at the World Deter. As Williams plays the ball. Butcher with the dummy. And it goes all the way back to Duke. It's Walton. Lovely bit of play there from the Number two, that's Baptiste. This is dangerous living here from Watton, but they can get forward. This is lovely. This is a surgeon running on the pass. As Primus comes and collects. And there's a player down on the pit, so we will have a bit of a stoppage here. Seems to be a bit of a hand in the face. The player is down. Seems to be slowly getting back to his feet here. Bit of a stoppage. This is Akeem Hill in possession. 36 minutes on the clock. It's a pass into Butcher. The flag stays down. Butcher can't get the shot away. The flag stays down. And Butcher with an opportunity. Would have been one on one. Had he gotten it right. Excellent defending as well from Watton. The defenders stood on their feet. And in the end, Butcher left to rule the opportunity. So William of Wales in possession. This is Holligan. Looking for Yearwood. Does well. This is Downey. Pass one, two, three players and plays an excellent ball out to the left side. Can they get the cross in? Ball at the back post and his excellent goalkeeping from Duke. And I think the flag was up on the far side. Yep. The assistant referee, Giselle Louison, was on hand. And the flag was up for offside. It's Watton. Come forward again. Ball into King. It's another free kick. In favor of Watton. Highly anticipated finals here, folks. 
between Realm of Wales and Watton. Like I mentioned before, a lot is at stake in this game. Both teams going after history. As the ball is played forward, it's Williams. Goes all the way back. This one could be tricky. And Primus had to bail Williams out on that occasion. And the defenders will have to be very careful as the pitch is, it has some water in it. So they'll have to be very, very careful. The passes out there on the pitch as Wills look to come forward again. Excellent defending from Watton on this occasion. But the ball stays with Wills. And it's a free kick in favor of Watton on that occasion. King, it looks like, is brought down. Right in front of the referee, had an excellent view of that one and decides the ball will stay with Watton. This is King in possession in the midfield. As Watton looked to build from the back. This is the ball in the midfield. Lovely bit of play here. An excellent defending. That's Holligan to Appleway. Appleway. It's a rearward pass. And I think both teams have been a bit sloppy in terms of their passing, giving away possession cheaply. See, ball is played forward into the midfield. This is Smith. He can drive forward. Smith, bit of a hesitation. Busher, back to Smith. Smith tries his luck from outside of the box. And that one never troubling the goalkeeper. Duke. Happy to see that one out. As Watton come forward again, looking to build from the back. Ball into the midfield. This is King. Plays the ball over to the number 19 man, Baptiste, looks like. And it's all the way back to what to Wales again. This is Hill. Back to Appleway. To Herewood. Lovely bit of skill. Looking to slide forward. The ball into the path of Appleway. And Watton can get their lines cleared. So throw in. And the ball is booted forward. With just about five minutes left until half time. And this perhaps surely you'll see a yellow card from the referee. Yep. And it looks like Jabari Chandler, it seems like that goes into the referee's book. And the free kick indeed for the throwing. For wheels, this is Williams. Finds Appleway into Holligan. Holligan to Butcher. And Butcher's fouled, and it's a free kick. Another free kick for wheels. And the free kick is taken quickly. This is Downey in the midfield for wheels. Plays the ball over. To Smith, Smith with a cross floated in, and the offside flag is up again. As the player Baptiste, it looks like, is down on the pitch, and we'll have a stoppage with just about four minutes to go until half time. As you can see, the Wayne of Wales coach, Mr. Carlos Chapman, having a word with some of his players, Appleway and Williams, namely. And the Wharton coach, Mr. Sherlin Gibbons, does the same. Having a word with Omani Leacock on the touchline as the players take the opportunity to have a drink of water. And it's going to be Duke to. Start us again with the free kick.
So Ju plays the ball over to the right flank. And there's a coming together of players there again. As the physios are called onto the field. See Mr. Michael Gibbons and Chantal Braffitt, the team medics. They've been very busy throughout the last five minutes. As we have had some stoppages. Just about two minutes to go until the half time whistle. And it has been a pretty even half so far from both teams. Hasn't yet lived up to the expectation of a final just yet. Seems like both teams are still feeling out themselves. As the players remain on the pitch, receiving some treatment. Seems to be the Watton player is back up on his feet. It's a Shane Lord. But the Weymouth Wheels player, Andrew Applewit, he remains down. See Braffitt there going through the concussion exercise with Applewit. Applewit stays down, and he's back up to his feet now. That's a good sign to see. Both players are back to their feet. Andre Applewit, the Weymouth Wills player, who went down to Shane Lord, the Watton player. So with halftime approaching, it's going to be a drop ball. It's going to be a drop ball. And this is Mario Williams. In possession, looks for a pass. Ops to go along as the fourth official has put up two minutes on the board. So we've seen a bit of stoppages, but the officiating team have decided at two minutes is what we'll have to play. But this is Downey in possession in the midfield. Can Weymouth Wills make something happen on the verge of the half? Brought down, this is Edmund, a shot. Shot comes in. Chance miss for Weymouth Wills. And it's going to be a corner. That perhaps the best opportunity for Weymouth Field so far. Excellent ball into Edme. Decides to square it. And it's an excellent block as well. The ball is going in favor of Watton. So Watton, get us on a go again. Smith with the header. This is Lord. To Chandler. It's a lovely pass from Hill into Applewaite. Wheels come forward with a bit of urgency. Applewaite decides to go along. Looking for the foul. And the referee is on hand. And it's a yellow card for Rashad Smith in the process. So Smith goes into the referee's book as well. Second player for Weymouth Fields to be cautioned. As Duke will take the 
Free kick. And that's the end of the first half here in the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup final at the Worldy Turf. And nothing really much to shout about. They've had a couple of chances from both teams. A free kick from Jabari Chandler in the 18th minute. Catching practice for Kishmar Primus. And then a chance at the other end for William of Wheels, Rashad Smith. Put the opportunity high and wide over the bar. And that's how it stands at the end of the first half. It's Wim of Wales nil. Wharton nil. For the mood swings But I think you're lying Cause you wanna be in movies Tell me how you're doing Alright Cause I care for you I've always said that I think you have the upper hand I don't try to judge But I think the plot is wrong for you Lights, how you think that you can get away with anything, with everything? Then you turn around and walk away.
It's been a little while since we did a vlog. Huh? It's It's been so long. It's been so long. I don't think I know what went wrong. I fell in love over time. It's a sad goodbye. It's a sad goodbye. A warm night. Gone, gone, gone.
Welcome back to the Wildy Turf here for the finals of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. Weymouth Wales versus Wharton. Nil-nil the score. The players have been in the company of their managers for the last 15 minutes. And we'll have to wait and see what will be the outcome. I'm joined by Dwayne Gibbs for the second half of this Intriguing encounter, very highly anticipated as we see the foul there um, goes in favor of Weymouth Wills, who will be going left to right against Wharton. So a number of players have stand, are standing over it. Akeem Hill, as he takes it quickly. Uh, yes, Dwayne. Nil nil still the score. Neither team really taking control of this the final. Yeah, um, Marvel, honestly, I um from observing the first half, you know, both of them were I guess trying to feel each other out for the first few minutes of the game and I haven't seen a lot of shots on goal on either any of the pitch. Uh, but there were some amazing saves from Wharton just before the closing in the first half. So I, I think the second half is gonna produce probably a goal. I can't tell you who it will come from. But um, a upset might be in the, in the cars tonight as possible. Um, it might be good for football just to see something different. Um, we will see how it goes. But uh, I can tell you this. The, the guys need to be careful because I see a lot of dissent on the pitch with regards to the referee calls. They can't be in the referee face like that all the time. So hopefully the guys can keep the tempers in check because you don't want to lose a man due to dissent on the pitch. And I think this should be a good second half. Yeah, you mentioned the cautions. We know already as you call Edme, uh, Rashad Smith for Weymouth Wales into the referee's book as well as Wharton's Jabari Pappy Chandler as Wharton looked to come forward. Again, this is Butcher in possession. Looks for the pass and it goes all the way back to the number six. That's Akeem Hill in possession. Plays the ball into Butcher, nice feet from Butcher, and it's dealt with there by the Wharton defenses. Hayden Holligan in possession, he's hurried, and the foul goes the other direction. So, yeah, bit of a cagey opening. Uh -huh. yeah, for sure. Dwayne, as I was mentioning to the viewers at home and our listeners, neither team really taking a grip. As we see Applewhite with the leading ball forward. Neither team really stamping their authority on, on this match. As Hill goes all the way back to Primus. Primus is challenged by two Watton defenders, two Watton attackers, and deals with it excellently. This is Williams. Plays the ball to Smith. Smith into Holligan. Can't seem to control the ball, and it's a free kick in favor of Wharton Dwayne. Yeah, and once again, I see some um, some dangerous behavior here on the pitch. These guys need to be truly careful. Um, you really don't want to go down a man 
Oh Lord, I think we 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 got a little fracas here on the, the pitch, Amara. Oh boy, this is this is not what football needs right now. Ah oh boy. Anyways, let me get back to the analysis. Um, you know, Darian King would have scored the the winner in the semi final to put Watson in this position. So imagine the symbolism and the the poetry behind it if he were to happen to score the winner tonight especially being known as a number one tennis playing Barbados. It'd be very cool if Darian would be able to bring it home for the guys tonight, man, with a winning goal. I can tell this is going to be a very close affair. As I said, Amar, I cannot see this being a 3-2 situation unless both teams really just open up and really start to go at each other. But we will see how it goes. Yeah. You mentioned um, Darian King for Watson. Yeah, it was an excellent winner in that match. To defeat Britain so but if we look at the the path that we must wheels took to the finals um, dispatching the double blackbirds um, so a bit of contrast in terms of how the two teams would have made this finals William of wheels um, really teaching the the blackbirds a lesson um, we know the blackbirds a number of Barbados on the 17 players under the guidance of Fabian Messiah um, Watton on the other hand um, they edged up Britain's Hill in what was a very intriguing and entertaining semi-final match. Uh, Watson then winning 3-2. Um, so we have seen a bit of a contrast in terms of how the two teams would have, would have made this final as we, we see the referee and the officials um, still in our shop, still trying to calm down things. Um, at this stage, as we've seen a bit of tempers uh, playing on the pitch, um, and this is expected in terms of a final. Neither team wants to lose. Um, a lot's at stake, like I mentioned before. A lot of history is behind this match that you're seeing on the pitch at the moment. Weymouth Wills going after what would be very historical in terms of winning a treble. Um, Wills, they have won the Barbados Football Association's Premier League Cup. They have won the Champions Cup. They're in the finals of the Republic Cup. And if we look at the girls, their female team as well, Weymouth Wills. Their female team have have um they've won that league as well and the knuckle as we see some cards coming out. It looks like from the the referee, and it seems to be is it a red card? It seems to be a red card. So you see, I'm already. It seems to be a red card, and it looks like Mario Williams. It looks like he's walking in our direction. So this will be a, a massive loss if indeed we have to wait and see. Our vision here in the commentary box isn't very good due to the rain. But I can see Mr. Mario Williams, he's walking towards us. We have to wait and see if he's walking towards us to receive instructions or if he has been sent off. And it looks like he's been sent off. This so, is a walking player coming off. So it seems to be Williams is sent off. Williams is sent off. Mario Williams sent off for William of Wales. And we have to get the confirmation on the Watton player who has been dismissed. Number 10 from Watton has been dismissed. That's Nico Marshall. So Mario Williams sent off for Wales. Nico Marshall sent off for Watton. So both teams are down to 10 men. Well, I guess it's all square then again, Amar. As I said before, I could have seen this coming based on the temperament of the guys. You don't want a situation where you lose men in such an important game with such high stakes. As Amar said, there's a lot of history here between these, these two teams. And the spectators deserve better than this, Amar. Honestly, the spectators deserve to see some good free-flowing football. We already have some inclement conditions with the rain and everything, which is going to make the game even more tentative. So you don't want, on top of that, no people playing cautiously because you don't want to lose a man. The, the, the fans deserve better football than this, man. They came out to see some good football, and I hope that this second half will provide something that the fans could at least walk in away feel, feeling good about themselves. Yeah, it's, it's really a shame, Dwayne, um, to say that, you know, they've come so far in this competition, and then for the final to be marred and by this 
But it seems to be though that the, the officials on the pitch seem to have got things a bit calm at the moment. Um, as, as we mentioned already, you would have alluded to this, Dwayne. Um, you did point out that things were a bit heated on the pitch and it resulted in both teams downed a player um, in this the final. So, Weymouth Fields down to 10 men, Watton down to 10 men and it's Mario Bago Williams who sent off for Weymouth Fields and Nico Marshall sent off for Watton as the rain comes down. It's a wet and rainy will the turf. Here for the finals of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. Lengthy stoppage here. 55 minutes on the clock. A bit of a harsh tackle. And it resulted in both teams being down the man. So it's 10 v 10. In case you're not joining us here. Wales have lost a defender. Centre half in Mario Williams. And... Watton have lost a midfielder in Marshall as the rain continued to come down out of our shot we can tell you that the winger for William of Wills he's now going to enter your shot again um, Nadre Butcher he's been receiving some instructions from the head coach Mr. Carlos Chapman They'll be probably talking tactics at this stage as the rain continues to come down. So the officials are see the fourth official and the assistant referees having a bit of a conversation with the competition's manager down in front of us, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bob Ford, and they're having a bit of a deliberation out of our shot. And this discussion is ongoing between the referees, between the officials. We've had a, a lengthy delay doing your mass better than mine. <laughs> About nine minutes now. Let's so wait to see what is the outcome here. The referee sounds his whistle. So it seems like play will continue. Well, it could have been worse, huh, Mara? <laughs> you know, they could have been down. One, two, pl two players per team, so. I think things are just about to resume. I see the officials, the players are coming back onto the pitch from both Watton and Wales. Let's hope everybody could resume the match with level heads and regain their focus. The spectators are here and the umbrellas out Sitting down in the rain, you know, they came out to, to support, and you have to appreciate these things. I could tell you, a goal from whichever side, it will it will raise your spirits in the crowd tonight, and it should blow the roof off this place, although the, the players ain't got a roof. But um, I think the people just need a goal. A goal will really change the atmosphere in this, in this arena tonight, man. Yeah, most definitely. As you see, the referee is back on the pitch. 
Rotten players are making their way back as well. And we have some confirmation that the number five player from Watton has also been sent off. That's Ricardo Ford. So Watton down to nine players. So it's actually nine v ten. So Ricardo Ford and Nico Marshall sent off for Wayma for Watton. So Mario Williams, a player sent off for Wayma Phil. So it's a 9 v 10 situation. Watton with 9, Wales with 10. Boys are out of Yeah, I think you called it, Gibbs. Yeah. I think I think Yeah, 10 versus 9. As the rain continues to pour down here at the Woody Turf, we wait to see as play is about to be resumed. Looks like we'll start with a free kick to Wales. And we'll have a substitution as well. So it's going to be number 17 off for Rim of Wales. The first team to make a change here in the finals. And that's the end of the night for Zico Edme. And Wales with a bit of a defensive change bringing in Ricardo Morris. So Morris expected to go right at centre half. And Edme makes way for him so a bit of a change in shape for uh William of Wales the head coach Carlos Chapman definitely not prepared to play with a defender down this is Appleway as we get on our way yet again Downey plays the ball into the midfield this is Holligan as Wales looks to Wales looks to come forward ball on the right hand side cleared away As Downey chases and keeps it alive. This is Elijah Downey for Wales. Plays the ball. Back over to Applewhite. To, to, to Morris, I beg your pardon. Morris looks for Applewhite. Applewhite is pegged back. Finds the player out on the right side. And this is a chance for Butcher. Goes down. And is excellent defending from Wharton as well. And it's a foul in the process. And the free kick goes in favour of Wharton as we see some of the players are surrounding the referee yet again. So the Watton player stays on the ground. So that's a, yet another stoppage momentarily. As you mentioned, the spectators, Dwayne, you have to give credit to the fans who braved the weather to come to the Woody Turf to see this match. Mm -hmm. They're here in their glory with their umbrellas out. And the raincoats. <laughs> but they've yet to see a goal. They've had some action. They've had three red cards in the mix. Ricardo Ford and Rick Nico Marshall from Watton sent off. And Mario Williams from William of Wales given his marching order. So in case you're not joining us, this is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup Finals. Between Weymouth Wills in green and Watton in blue as Watton looked to come forward here again. And the ball goes out of touch and it's going to be a goal kick for Primus. That's Primus to Morris. Morris to Smith. Smith brings the ball forward. And he finds Applewhite, who has Herewood for company. 
This is here with in possession. Ops to go back to Apple. What can he do? Down the left hand side. And it goes out into touch. And we'll see another substitution here. And the Wharton manager, Sherlin Gibbons, he's seen enough. And has decided that he's making a substitution. So it's going to be the number 19 man who comes out. That's Kelly Gill. And he's replaced by Dante McLean. As wheels come forward. This is Appleway. Slides it to Herewood. Herewood. Got spot. Appleway, Appleway with the cross, and it's behind for a goal kick. As you see, still, in my opinion, Gibbs, neither team, you know, taking a hold of this game. Yeah, Amar, but you know, it just takes one moment in football, and the thing that I was thinking about too was that you don't like a case of what ifs in football. You don't want a situation where. Because obviously, Walton is more disadvantaged with nine men on the pitch. That if they do end up losing, it could be said, well, what could have happened if we had all our men on, on the, the pitch? You know, you don't, you don't like those kind of narratives in football. You want to see a game, oh shoot. All right, that was a close shave there. As I was saying, you, you want a situation where you had your best team on the pitch. Everybody was able to play and contribute. It's always going to be a case. I wonder what would happen now. And... Is unfortunate. But if they happen to win under these circumstances, I guess it could be said that, you know, they really rallied and and overcame this insurmountable situation because they're against a better team, the best team in the island. And they don't too many. See Watson there with the free kick. Yeah. You never want a situation when it's nine V ten. Not ideal in terms of, well, for the neutral fans. But nevertheless, that's the story that we have on our hands at the moment. Duke with the free kick. And he finds his opposite number, Kishmar Primus, at the other end. This is Akeem Hill in possession. Plays the ball to Appleway. Appleweight to here with tries the outside of the boot pass. This is Holligan to Smith. Smith in possession. Plays the pass over to Hill. Hill to here with slides it over to Appleweight. Appleweight with a one time cross. This is here with back to Hill. He'll find Smith. That's an excellent ball into Holligan. Holligan tries a shot, comes back out, and that's excellent defending. And Watton can hit on the counter attack. But it's excellent awareness there from the keeper, Primus. Snuff out the danger there, Dwayne. And he did excellently. Watton, come, come forward again. Says Leacock. Plays the ball through. He's one on one. The shot comes in and it's a goal. Oh. The Barry Papi Chandler have scored. And Watton takes the lead against Weymouth Wills. What a goal that has been. It's a big goal. 68 minutes on the clock. It's Watton 1. Wales nil and it's that man Jabari Papi Chandler slides it through big moment excellent moment what a goal and he took it so gracious Dwayne ball slid through he's one on one with the keeper Primus and Chandler slots it home and look what it means to them the Watton fans are celebrating Watton won Wales nil Amar, as I told you, a goal would change the molecules in the, in this whole place. As you can see, people honking their horns and thinking in the parking lot. 
he would think this is a World Cup final, right? That's the beauty of football. So as I said, one goal would change the entire face of this game. No, Wales are on the back foot, although they have more men. This is going to be a very interesting next, well, 20 minutes to the regulation time. Yeah, let me see if we could get this completed in 90 minutes, man. <laughs> well, well, well. We have a goal on our hands. And it's that man, Jabari Chandler. An excellent finish from close range. One on one with the keeper, slots it home. And it's Watton with that precious advantage. And Wales will have it all to do. So Wales are up a man, but down in this game. Gibbs. And you know, Amar, sometimes goals come from goalkeeping blunders. Sometimes goals come from moments of brilliance from a player. And I have to say, Primus didn't do anything wrong there. He made himself big. He was one-on-one -on -one with, the, with the attacker. And unfortunately, the man picked his spot and started it home. It was a beautiful goal. Um, for those of you who are just listening, I hope you get a chance to see it later. But yes, we have a game on our hands now, people. It's Wales to come forward. It's a corner for Wales. So just about... 20, 20 minutes 20 plus, plus, 20 minutes plus on the clock. We have to remember we had a lengthy stoppage. So it's going to be a corner for Wills from the right side. Pat sees the in swinger, crosses in, and it's a goal just like that. Wills have equalized. Almost immediately. And we have a gain on our hands, Dwayne. The corner is taken. Bit of a bit of a confusion. And it's over the line. And just like that, William of Wales are back into the game. Have to get the confirmation on the goal score. Looks like we get the replay here the corner is taken and it looks like Ak the header off of Akeem Hill it looks like last touch perhaps off a, a defender but I think the header was on target so perhaps Hill may get this goal but just like that William of Wales are back your thoughts on the goal Dwayne Still trying to figure out what happened, but as I said before, some goals come from brilliant, some come from goalkeeping blunders. I'm not sure exactly what happened in the midst of the confusion there just now, but it looked like if the goalkeeper wasn't able to get his hands on it and somebody nicked it past him. Um, I missed all the traffic in, in the box. So I guess we'll get clarification. You have any word on who's the goal score yet? But the reality is, it's moments like this where pedigree is shown and true champions rise to the level of expectation and competition. If Wales are to win this competition, they will have to make sure that they stave off a determined Watton team. So we'll see what happens. So confirmation of the goal scorer for William of Wales, Akeem Hill, the big defender. And he scored some important goals for William of Wales. And he's got another one rising to the occasion. And his header, it still looks to me, Dwayne, like it, it took a bit of a deflection, but the initial header looked like it was on target. So Akeem Hill is on the score sheet for William of Wales as Watton. We'll have an opportunity with this dead ball situation. But in case you're not joining us, this is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. And the scoreline reads, Wim of Wales 1, Watton 1, with just about 74 minutes on the clock. And it's a 9v10, Wales with 10 players, Watton down to 9 men. So incredible, Watton 
they took the lead with nine men. And that's incredible to, to, to actually see. Normally when a team has the numerical advantage, it's a bit easier for them. But Watton have made it difficult for, for me and on, on this occasion as Watton will have another opportunity from a dead ball situation. This one a bit closer to the uh, penalty area. And we can see two players standing over it. Chandler and Lord. Well, Lico and Lord, I beg your pardon. And it's going to be a throw in for Wheels. Watton, come forward. Lico in possession. This is Brown. That's a free kick in favor of Wales. And the yellow card comes out for. Well, Manny Leacott, it looks like. So Leacott goes into the referee's book as well. Um, these, these guys can't ill afford to go down to eight men. They have to be careful. They have to keep their tempers in check. They're still in the game. Is one love. Sorry, is one is one all they're still in the game they're not down three or four goals there's everything to play for here they can still win it this is a lovely cross into the box there are no takers but the flag goes up for offside looks like another opportunity for wheels but the flag is up for offside but how did the attacker keep that one out as we as Watton come forward again Lovely bit of burst and speed here. Appeals for the foul, but the referee says it's a goal kick. As Primus is hurrying his players to get back into position, as we see Wayne of Bills preparing Shaquille Stewart. Looks like it's going to be a double substitution, as I can see from my vantage point. That was a poor pass. This is Lico. It's tackle. And I was mentioning before, it looks like it's going to be a double substitution for Weymouth Fields as the ball is played forward and is dealt with there by the Watton defender. Has to be careful. And Applewhite. It's a lovely ball into Butcher. Butcher back to Applewhite. Can he get the cross in? Decides to cut back. Puts it on a platter. And the shot in the end. It's a weary one. The crowd is really behind the team tonight, Amar. The atmosphere in here is electric at this point in time. You can feel the anticipation. You can feel that just one more goal in either direction now. Probably might be the last goal of the night. And we might have the winner from the next goal. Interesting comments here you've made, Dwayne. With just about 13 minutes of regular time left. As wheels come forward, this is Applewhite, Andre Applewhite in possession. The navy blue boots. The ball from Downey. Back to Applewhite. Applewhite plays it across the hill. Hill to Morris. Morris to Smith. To Applewhite. Applewhite. And that ball is in the midfield. What a look to come forward. And it's a foul again called by the referee as the rains are with us again. You know, our artist pouring rain in the final reminds me of the 2006 Champions League final with Ars Bars Barcelona Arsenal. It was very dramatic. And in the end, I believe Belletti would have scored the winner to take the trophy back to the camp. No, so I don't know who's going to be the hero tonight, but whoever it is. His name will go down in the history book. Yeah, as we see the substitution there from Raymond Fields. That's the end of the night for Akil Appleway. They've introduced Shaquille Stewart. So they've taken out a midfielder and they've gone with a striker. So a bit of intent from the head coach from Raymond Fields, Mr. Carlos Chapman. So both teams have made substitutions. 
um, here as we still have the score is locked at one apiece as time ticks away 79 minutes on the clock in case you're not joining us Watton took the lead through Jabari Papi Chandler and then less than five minutes after Watton e wills equalize through Akeem Hill as the free kick is taken support free kick and wills can counter and this is Nadre Butcher in possession and the flag goes up for offside excellent officiating there from Louison waited and waited and waited and as soon as Butcher took the touch she was up with her flag but you know something must be said for Wales because I'm um, already any of the day champions have to rise to the occasion that's how they win trophies. And the fact that they were able to reply so quickly as soon as Watton scored a goal, it tells you a lot about the pedigree and uh, caliber of the MF Wales as champions. They are not here by a fluke. They have earned their spot as a top team in the Barbadian Premier League, and they have to be dethroned. You have to come and take it from them. They're not going to give it to you. So let's see if Watton has what it takes. This is Applewit in possession. Looking for the pass. Ball is in. The cross comes in. And the free kick goes in favour of Watton. So another free kick. We've had quite a few free kicks so far for this match. Dwayne and Duke will get us on our, on our way again. The goalkeeper for Watton. Both keepers have been pretty solid so far. I mean, they've conceded a goal apiece. But they really have been there when the teams needed them most. As Duke plays the ball forward. This is Appleway into Butcher. Butcher has now taken a more central role. And this is a lovely ball. The flag says down. No, Nadre Butcher. That's an excellent what a save. Um, what a save there. Yeah. That's an excellent save. save. That might have been the save of the game. That might have saved the game for Watton. We are yet to find out, but let me tell you, there was that save was significant. We will see how significant as the game progresses. Yeah, it looked like a clear. And it's a yellow card. And it's a red card. So it's 9v9 now. Akeem Hill, the number six, it looks like. Sent off. So it seems to be a second yellow. And Weymouth Wales are down to nine as well. What a game. Wow. They've had four red cards, ladies and gentlemen. Akeem Hill. Sent off. Showing the second ye yellow by the referee. As we can see, can we get the replay of the challenge? We'll take a look back at it. As Watton get us on the way again. But yes, the confirmation, Akeem Hill sent off as Watton looked to come forward. So Hill has scored and has now been sent off. What has been a very chaotic final so far. So it's going to be a goal kick for Weymouth Wales. It's 9v9, ladies and gentlemen, as we approach 88 minutes on the clock. It's all square in terms of players on the pitch and it's all square in terms of the scoreline so far Applewit in possession looks for the pass into Stewart Stewart it's a loose ball and it's picked up there by the Watson defence ball played into the Midfield. This is Downey. 
Let's get sparse his marker. Downey looking to play the ball over to Herewood. It's Wharton. Come come forward again. This is King. Lord in possession. Plays the ball over the ball. to Chandler. Oh, and Primus gets it wrong. But luckily, he has Morris to help him. This is Applewit into Herewood. Herewood. And Applewit recovers. This is Morris. Back to Primus. Primus back to Morris. I feel Primus has a mistake in him, Amar. Primus back to Applewit. As Wills to come forward, the ball is played over to the far side. This is Zach Applewit. Into the midfield, that's Holligan. Morris in possession to Applewit. As Wills are prodding forward, this is Herewood. Drives forward. Plays the pass over to the far side. Holligan into the box. And it's a weird cross. Seems to be a cross and a shot. Nevertheless, the ball goes up into touch. And it's a goal kick, Dwayne. And Mar, I am glad that I am a neutral in this situation because if I was a fan of either team, my heart would be in my throat all now. Because the drama continues in this game. From the sending offs to the near misses, the rain is falling, the pitch is volatile. That's another fracas we're having on the, on the pitch, Amar? Not just yet. Okay, this good. Downey. To Applewit. Applewit. This is Elijah Downey. Plays the ball forward. So let's say Butcher. Trying to bamboozle his man. Gets past the marker, Butcher. Plays the pass inside. Bit of a reverse back heel there from Holligan. Almost worked. But Watton can come forward. Chandler with the pass. And it goes out into touch. It's going to be Watton's ball. 87 minutes on the clock. Buckle up, folks. We're in for a ride. As we see the free kick. Taken, will be taken from by Watton. It's taken short. Surely now, a goal at this stage would be a winner. For sure, Amar. For sure. As Watton come forward. Just about two and a half minutes left of regular time. Looking for the pass into Chandler. And the flag is up for offside. Flag is up for outside and it's a, a bit of a... The two Wadden players are going. Chandler is having a go at his man. <laughs> Referee. It's a goal kick. A bit of confusion there. As Downey comes forward, it's a clattering tackle. And it's going to be eight minutes. Of added time here. The wheels come forward. This is Butcher. Brought down right in front of the referee. And the referee says play on. Watton. Come forward as I mentioned before. Eight minutes. And it's going to be a free kick. We have had a lengthy bit of stoppage. Dwayne. So eight minutes awarded. As it's 9v9. Four red cards. As play is on the way again. The wet and rainy conditions. This is Holligan. Trying to put together a couple of passes. To Chandler. Holligan again. Plays the ball to Herewood. Herewood slides it over to Downey. Downey. And Watton can come forward. 
King into Leacock. Leacock looking to find Chandler. Wheels up to come forward. And this is Leacock. Can't get past Holligan. Holligan to Herewood. Herewood tries his luck from distance and it's a tame shot. And Duke comes and collects as the ball is booted forward. Applewit plays the ball forward. This is Zachary Applewit in possession for Wheels. Can he get the crossover? Cuts back on his left foot. It's a dangerous cross into the box, and there are no takers. And it's a foot race. It's a foot race. And in the end, Watson can clear their lines as the player stays down on the box, and they met it. Chantal Braffitt is once again called onto the field for William of Wales. As the rain continues to tumble down, we're into added minutes. Eight added minutes have been awarded here at the Woody Turf. Wales won, Watton won. Uh, Watton took the lead through Jabari Papi Chandler. And then William of Wales equalized through Akim Hill who scored and has now been sent off. William of Wales down to nine men. So it's been Hill and Mario Williams sent off for William of Wales, while Watton on the other end, they've had Nico Marshall and Ricardo Ford sent their marching over orders. So nine v nine in terms of players on the pitch. And the scoreline reads one, one. Interesting folks. What has been a very chaotic final <laughs> so far. And it seems that we're far from over, Dwayne. Honestly, I'm already last time I've seen eight minutes of stoppage time was probably FIFA World Cup last year. Those stoppage times were extremely long. So I guess this is becoming a new norm in football. I don't know. But um, I, I, do you have any predictions, Amor? Because I can't see how this is going to go. It could go either way. Of course, you would more favor Wales as they have the experience in being champions, but there's something about this water side that is telling me that they're not done. I don't know if it's enough to get them over the line, but Amar, something interesting is going to happen either in regulation time or when this game goes to um, extra time. Only a brave man would call it. As Walter looked to come forward, this is Leacock in possession. He has Chandler for company. Back to Primus. Primus. Back to Applewhite. As Wheels can come forward again. They're actually playing with eight at the moment as Elijah Downey is off the pitch. Uh, getting some treatment. So Applewhite looking for the pass. And is dispossessed. Watson can come forward again. Chandler. As this is... Leacock, Catherine Taco from Holligan. As Watton looked to come forward again. It's a state of desperation from both teams at the moment. This is Butcher almost pulling off the clever little back heel into short. And it's a free kick for a beam of bills. 93 minutes on the clock at the Wildey Turf as Wales get us going again here with, and it's extremely hard to get a grip on the ball due to the conditions here. As we've seen a number of times, players have been losing their footing. This is Wales, come forward again. The ball is played forward to Stewart. Stewart into the box, beats his man, and it's an excellent tackle. From the defender. Watch the ball and not the man. And it's going to be a corner. Oh for Wayne of Wills. Corner for Wayne of Wills. 94 minutes on the clock. Four minutes left. Corner. It's going to be swinging. Any moment now.
Let me and see. Van McWills with a corner. It's swelling. And it's dealt with by Wharton. They can come forward. It's a foot race. Lord versus Butcher. Two quick individuals. Butcher's back. Almost playing center half. But this is Leacock. Controls the ball. He's challenged by Butcher. This is Chandler. The keeper's off his line. Chandler in a shot. Oh. Good intentions from Jabari Papi Chandler. He saw that Kishmar Primus was off the line. Decided to take his luck. And my goodness me, he wasn't far away from it. Uh, Mar, if that had scored, I would have run home tonight. I'm telling you. I just, I just love the, the tenacity of, of Wharton. I love the fact that they want it. They understand who they're up against and they're not backing down, uh, Mar. This is the kind of attitude that you need to approach champions with. If they are going to be rewarded for it, I would not be upset. As we see, another stoppage. There's another player down on the pitch, receiving some medical treatment. He's back to his feet at the moment, no? And I think, Dwayne, that both teams sort of come into this game understanding the assignment that perhaps, you know, it is a final and, you know, extra time and perhaps penalties would be part of the equation. So I'm thinking that, you know, both teams during their practice sessions this week uh, would have, you know, practice, you know, the fitness in terms of staying the course as we see. That's the final whistle. And we're seeing 96 minutes on our clock. But the referee, Kialig, has blown the whistle here for the end of the match. And as it stands, it's Weymouth Wales 1, Wharton 1. And we're heading to extra time in the finals of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup for 2023. Don't move a muscle. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, it'll be first half in extra time.
Welcome back to the BFA Wildy Turf. This is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup final here between Weymouth Wales and Wharton. And what a game we have on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. The score is 1 1 after 90 minutes. And we're into extra time. Jabari Papi Chandler, the goal scorer for Wharton. And Akeem Hill. The goal scorer for William of Wales. Both teams reduced to nine men. Mario Williams and Akeem Hill sent off for William of Wales. And Rico Ford and Rick Nico Marshall sent off for Wharton. So, what a game we have on our hands as Wales look to come forward. Down the left hand side, the cross is in. And it's a good save by Juke there. Had to get it right. And he got it right. This is Holligan in possession. To Applewaite, the cross is into the box and it's a goal! William of Wales have taken the lead! What a goal it is! And it's 2-1 to William of Wales now, just like that. Immediate free lead from the start of extra time. William of Wales have taken the lead. As we see, look at the replay. Ball into the box. Lovely from Applewaite, the cross. And it's an excellent finish from Shaquille Stewart. What a goal from Shaquille Stewart. Lovely cross. Excellent work down the right-hand side from Applewaite. Clever cross into the box. And Stewart isn't. What a goal it has been. So Weymouth Wheels 2. Watton 1. And this is the final of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. So Wales have taken the lead. They've come from behind here on the night. And we're going to have a bit of a stoppage. So as I mentioned before, Wales with the advantage, in case you're now jo no joining us, this is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup Finals from the Wildy Turf. And William of Wales with the 2-1 advantage over Watton, both teams are down to nine players, incredibly. But William of Wales have taken the lead in extra time. I believe in the 112th minute, Wales have the lead, and they have that man to thank, Shaquille Stewart. It was a Porter's goal cross from Sap Appleway into the box, and Stewart arrived in the middle of the post and got that delicate touch past the goalkeeper Sadika Juke and into the back of the net and the Watton fans sad Wales fans celebrating and Watton will have it all to do to come from behind here Dwayne yeah I'm horrible you know any sport of football things could turn on the head in the blink of an eye, and we saw that happen here. I don't know if Watson has it in them to try to equalize now in an extra time. Um, anything is possible in football. They have another, what, 11 minutes or so in this first half of extra time. We'll see how it goes. So this is Watson. Come forward. Again, this is Leacock into the box. And it's easily dealt with there by the defender. And in case you're now joining us, this is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup Finals between Wayne of Wales and Watton. Wayne of Wales leading Watton by two goals to one. And that's a lovely shot. And it's an excellent save as well from Primus. The shot from distance. Definitely troubling the custodian there from Wayne of Wales. And he had to be on hand, had to get that shot and parried it away behind for a corner from Watton. Corner, swung into the box. The heads go up and it's dealt with there. This is Romario Herewood. Watton can come forward again. They have to come from behind here, Watton. After taking the league, the shot comes in and that one a bit weary. Never troubling the goalkeeper there, Primus, and that occasion. And it goes behind but we saw an excellent shot there from Watton, forcing Kishmar Primus, the Weymouth Wales goalkeeper, to make a save. 
And in the end, the score remains Wales 2, Watton 1. This Primus will get us on our way again. This is Butcher in possession. Plays the ball forward. It's Holligan. The flag stays down. Stewart decides not to pull the trigger. And the fans on the far side are absolutely upset with him. Shaquille Stewart with an excellent opportunity. As Watson come forward again, this is Jabari Chandler. Controls the ball in his stride. Looking to go past his man. And in the end, Watson can get the ball clear. But we saw there another opportunity for Weymouth Wills to add and double their lead. Shaquille Stewart on that occasion, unable to put the ball in the back of the net, was in an excellent position. They are one on one with the keeper, but delayed the shot, Dwayne. And in the end, Watton made the save. This is Lord in possession. He's challenged by Appleway. Bit of a tussle there. And in the end, the ball goes in favor of Watton. As we it's starting to get physical there again. But Watton will have a free kick. 106 minutes on the clock. As Wills look to come forward, look to build from the back again. This is a lovely turn from Butcher. Goes past another man. This is Butcher. Can he go alone? It's Nadre Butcher. The icing on the kick. That's it. What a goal from Nadre Butcher. Surely it's a goal for the ages for Wilma Wills. What a goal this has been from Nadre Butcher. Goodness gracious. Oh, this is majestic. Absolutely fantastic from Butcher. Picks up the ball. About the halfway line, goes past one, two, three players, drags the keeper and puts the ball into the back of the net. Absolutely fantastic. It's Weymouth Fields three, water nil, and it's Nadre Butcher. What a goal. Fantastic. Brilliant. What a goal. And I can hardly catch my breath. Absolutely fantastic, Dwayne. I, I don't have any words at this point, Amar. I, I, what a fantastic run. Like Messi versus Hitafia, man, in 2008. I, let me tell you, that was a run from Nadre Butcher. We watched it in slow motion, and that was the final nail in the coffin. And it was murder she wrote. That was all I can see at this point in time. What a finish. What a run from Nadre Butcher. And the scoreline is Weymouth Fields 3, Watton 1. And Butcher, absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant run. Goes past one, two, three players. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Decides to drag him. And it's a goal for the ages here at the World of Turf. Absolutely fantastic from Nadir Butcher. What a goal. Fantastic. It's a goal that will be remembered for some time here at the World of Turf. From Butcher. He's been arguably one of the best players we've seen in local football this season. And he's delivered again on a night when Weymouth Wills needed him most. And what a finish it has been. 3 1 now the score in extra time. 108 minutes on the clock. And Weymouth Wills with a two goal cushion deep now into this contest. And in case you're not joining us, this is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. And the scoreline is Weymouth Fields 3, Watton 1. Watton took the lead through Jabari Papi Chandler. And then Wills equalized through Akeem Hill. And it's another, another card and it's another send-off. Watton again. Sent off. Omani Lee caught this time is showing a second yellow card. So what are we seeing, ladies and gentlemen? So that's another player for Wharton sent off. So I, I believe Wharton now reduced to eight men. As we see the replay there. 
It's a second yellow card for Omani Leko, and he's showing his marching orders. They've seen one, two, three, four, five red cards in this match. It's been chaotic. And just like that, Watton are reduced to eight men. Omani Leko, confirmation of that, he's the last player for Watton sent off. Like I was mentioning, Watton took the lead through Jabari Papi Chandler. And then Akeem Hill, he was sent off. He equalized for Weymouth Wills. And then they took the lead through Shaquille Stewart in extra time. And then Nadre Butcher, he doubled their advantage. What a game we've seen on our hands here. And it's not over yet. See the ball play forward. So what him with an opportunity. This is Watton. Come forward again. Confirmation. It's nine versus eight. Weymouth Fields with nine. Watton with eight. So we have 17 players on the pitch from 22. Started with 22. We're down to 17. Watton will have a free kick here. As the score is 3-1 in favor of Weymouth Wills. But this one, not over as yet. We still have quite a few time to go in this match. And it's a free kick. Looks like it's going to be Lord. Stands over it. So free kick to Watton. Hard in with the shot. Takes a deflection. And it's a corner. And perhaps this might be one of the Last few moments of the first half of extra time. So it's a corner swung in by Watton. Swatton collect the possession. Lovely bit of skill here. It's great defending there from Holligan as well. As Appleway is fouled. And the free kick is going in favour of Water of Wales. What wheels looking to come forward again? Butcher in possession. This foul. It's a free kick in favor of wheels. This is Applewhite in possession. Has Lord for company. Applewhite skips past his man. Looking to cross the ball. Applewhite. Ball into the box. Finds back to Applewhite. The challenge comes in. And he skips away from it. Wheels look to come forward. Butcher, showing off a bit. <laughs> it's 
Wales play forward for the back. And that's the end of the first half of extra time. And the scoreline is Weymouth Wills 3, Watton 1. So 15 minutes remaining in this match. And at the end of the first period of extra time, the scoreline reads Weymouth Wills 3, Watton 1. Fifteen minutes to go in this the finals of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup. And we're on the way again for the second half of extra time. And in case you're now joining us, it's Weymouth Wheels three. Watton one. Wheels in green. Watton in navy blue. And it's been a entertaining match. So far, we've seen a number of players sent off. And then we've also had four goals on our hands as well. This is Primus. Takes the goal kick short to Andre Appowit. Appowit. To Marquez. As that so ball looking for butcher this is Duke plays the ball forward Morris in possession plays the ball back to Primus so Wales the defending champions this is Holligan in possession to Applewit. Applewit drives forward. Applewit. And the ball is played forward back to Primus. And at this stage, it's just about 13, 14 minutes left in this contest. It seems like William of Wills are marching towards BFA invincible are marching towards being invincible in the BFA competitions this is Primus in possession now as wheels have started to take their feet off the gas as I'm kept hydrated here that's a lovely pass 
from Butcher into Apple, surely Apple skits past you, puts it into the back of the net, and that's a lovely goal for Weymouth Wheels. Butcher to Apple, Apple slides it into the back of the net, and surely now that's the writing on the wall. Game set and match. Absolutely no coming back from this. As some of the Watton fans have started to make their way towards the exit. And that has to be the end of that. Zachary Applewit making the score 4-1 to Weymouth Bills. Excellent pass from Butcher. Who turns provider to Applewit. And it's a lovely finish. Fates the keeper. And the scoreline now reads Weymouth Wills 4, Watton 1. And perhaps now the Watton team must be begging for the final whistle, Dwayne. Yeah. Um, there was a point where this game was close. There was a point where the, the tide was shifting from side to side. And now we're in a position where Wills is once again comfortably affirmed. And just cruising to the finish line. Uh, to all the Walton fans, it's unfortunate. You came this far. I know you would have wanted to see a better showing from your your home team. Um, but there's always next season. As wheels come forward again, this could be another opportunity. As the keeper goes down on the tarmac. And we'll have a bit of a stoppage here. As Juke remains down. The scoreline reads Weymouth Wills 4. Watton 1 in this the finals of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup for 2023. So this is Wills. In possession again. Ball is slid forward. Can we get a fifth? Into the box. And the player goes down. And the referee points to the spot. Looks like a penalty. And it looks like Wills will have a penalty. And it's a yellow card for the Watton defender. And it's a penalty for Weymouth Wills. To rub salt in the wombs of Watton. Can you believe it? The Weymouth Wills players are a bit of arguing about who will take the penalty. But it looks like it's going to be Marquez, Ronaldo Marquez, to take the penalty. Can he make the score 5 1? And it's Marquez versus Joe. And Marquez slots it down the middle. What a finish! What a penalty! The substitute Marquez, a calm penalty, Dwayne. Waits for the keeper to make his move and then drives it down the middle. One of the best penalties I've seen in a while. Easy. And the score now. Wheels 5. What and 1. What a story this has turned out to be. Yep. And the goals just keep coming. I expect probably one or two more before the completion of additional time um, are at this rate. Um... Wales is comfortable with the concept of being champions. They were given a challenge, probably the biggest challenge of the season, arguably, against this Watton side. But once the tide turned, it never turned back. Yeah, I think Watton perhaps ran out of steam in this match. After taking the lead, they're off to a dream start. Ronaldo Marquez, the goal scorer for Weymouth Wills, the last goal scorer, slotting home the penalty. 
Wait, was Jabari Papi Chandler? Who scored? And the flag says no. Could we have more goals here? The shot is taken straight at the keeper, Ju. And Wills, perhaps not taking their feet off the, the pedal. They want more, Dwayne. This is Apple it. In possession. Back to Holligan. Holligan to Marquez. Marquez back to Applewit. Not much longer left. It's a walking pace. Pedestrian style. The cross comes in to the box. Stuart with a chance. And it's another goal. Shaquille Stuart makes it six. Wim of Will six. Watton one. Will six. Watton one. Shaquille Stewart adds to the score sheet. Shot kill sure getting on the score sheet again. And real six. What and one in extra time. And it can't be much longer left. It's Watton perhaps now begging for the final whistle. So their fans have made their way out of the stadium already. Majority of them. Says so Chandler in possession. Get to come forward as king. The wheels want more. This is Apple it. Driving forward. The ball is over to Butcher. Butcher keeps it alive. Butcher. To Short. Short to Marquez. Marquez with a shot. And it's an excellent save from Juke. And it's going to be a corner. Marquez with a shot. And Juke with the save. And it's going to be a corner. The corner. For William of Wales. Corner taken shortly. This Marquez again in possession. Marquez looking to shoot. All the way back to Primus. Referee has a look at his watch. This is Herewood. Back to Primus. It's at walking pace now. This is Applewit. Wills playing a bit of a keep ball between themselves. This Holligan. The ball is put out of touch. And any moment now, any moment now, the, the final whistle will go. And that's it. The fat lady has sung. And that's the end. Of the match. Wim of Wales are the champions. Undisputed champions. Of local football. Defeating Wharton. Six goals. To one here.
And what a game it has been. But in the end, Weymouth Bills have reigned supreme. They've won the Barbados Football Association's league title. They've won the Champions Cup. And they've now won the Republic Cup. It's a clean sweep for Weymouth Bills this season. And it comes to an end in defeat for Watton, but victory for Wales. And on the behalf of our team here at the Wildy Turf, I'm Anne Margaret Boyce. And this has been live coverage of the Barbados Football Association's Republic Cup final here at the Wildy Turf.